Fallout continues in Parkland nine months since the shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School. Tonight, four staff members, including three assistant principals, have been removed from their positions. CBS 4's Kerry Codd is live for us at Broward School Board headquarters with details. Kerry? Elliot, the Broward School District said these reassignments came as a result of information provided to the school district by the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Public Safety Commission. The school district said they continue to get information from the commission. They're reviewing the school's response to the shooting and what they did to prevent what led to it. Now, one commission member whose daughter was murdered at the school that day told me this was a good first step. Three Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School administrators, Jeff Morford, Winford Porter, and Denise Reed, along with security specialist Kelvin Greenleaf, are being reassigned to administrative jobs in the Broward School District. The school district said Monday that the decision was made based on information presented to the district by the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Public Safety Commission. It was welcome news today to hear that the district is taking action. Ryan Petty's daughter, Elena, was murdered at the school. Petty is a member of the MSD Commission. He related several errors that he said school leaders made the day of the shooting. Gates were open and unguarded. Um, gates were opened early. Uh, the code red was not called for three minutes and 16 seconds. During commission meetings earlier this month, the commission learned of a conversation among campus monitors and Morford last year about Cruz's potential to be a school shooter. The group joked that Cruz would likely come from Morford first because Morford frequently had issues with Cruz. The commission also learned that a student and teacher said they warned Morford about Cruz in the past. Morford told the student that he was being taken out of the school by his parent and he did not have to worry about it. Also, a teacher immediately went to the office and notified Jeff Morford that Cruz was on campus in 2017, but Morford denied the teacher reported this to him. And we heard lots of testimony about students and, and staff that had reported the aberrant behavior of Cruz, and, and it went um, either ignored or, dis, or dismissed. Greg Pittman teaches American history at Stoneman Douglas. He said many teachers are upset about the reassignment of the administrators and are angry at the way this decision was communicated to them. If there are legitimate reasons that they shouldn't be there, we want, as teachers, want to know what they are. Pittman believes it's unfair to blame these administrators. I want to know what school in Broward County has been trained for this kind of situation prior to us having it. Please tell me which one, and I want to see the evidence. Now, I spoke with another Stoneman Douglas teacher tonight who told me they believe that investigations are necessary. However, they say these administrators and school security specialists have such institutional knowledge that they should be able to keep their jobs while the investigation moves forward. These teachers tell me they do plan to have a protest outside the school tomorrow morning before classes begin. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.